Hey, this is Amanda with Big Duck Canvas, and today I'm using our waterproof vinyl fabric to make an inexpensive cover for a truck bed. So the first thing I did was determine the dimensions that I was going to need. This piece is cut at 61 and a half by 76 inches, and I'm going to fold the edges over and pin them so that the final cover will be 59 and a half by 74 inches. I'm just using some quilting pins that I already had. Uh, they're not quite strong enough for this vinyl. It's kind of hard to push them through. There's heavier T-pins that um, would be better if you're if you're going to go buy something. You, you'll want to get something a little bit heavier than these. And then I'm just going to pin one side at a time and take it to the sewing machine. So now I'm going to start sewing this first side. I'm using a bonded nylon thread. It's really heavy. And so in this vinyl, it's not too bad at all. Uh, it's pretty easy to push through. The trick is just keeping it straight and um, not letting it run away with you. But it doesn't slide around at all, and um, it's actually really nice. So I'm just going to pin another side. And you can see, I don't know if you noticed, but I have moved my pins closer to the fold so that um, I don't have to take them out for the sewing machine to pass by. But this um, kind of seems like a better better idea than the way I was doing it at first. So now I'm just going to sew this other side. And I just pin one side and sew one side at a time. Just because the vinyl is so heavy and with all those pins in the fabric it can get tricky. Um, it can get caught on your skin or your clothes. So just having them in one side is good. And um, I'm just going to do this for all the sides now. So these are stainless steel rust proof snaps that I got off of eBay. They came with a snap setter and they're really easy to install. Uh, just um, You have to poke a hole through the vinyl, stick them through, and then use the tools that came with them to hammer them in. And I'm just going to put the little piece under that it came with and um, put the stop at the top of the snap on and then the setter holds it down and then you can just use a mallet to lock those two in place. And you just want to make sure that you're hammering on a, a surface that um, can absorb the impact well and not like a table that wobbles or anything like that. So, And um, that one's in. And so I have um, six on the short side and eight on the long side, so I'll use 24, and they're all spaced out evenly, and I'm just going to go around and put them all in. This set also came with the screw stud, which is the part that will go into the truck, and um, with the fabric and the vinyl, it really didn't cost all that much to do this project. It was 26 for the fabric um, that we have at Big Duck, and then um, 38 for the hardware that I got off of eBay. So I don't know if you've ever looked at these kind of covers, but um, they're pretty expensive and uh, this is a really affordable way to do it. The snaps are looking really good. Um, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So since this is not my truck, I was really, really careful on where I marked uh, to drill. I used a punch to make an impression over all the holes so that the drill bit wouldn't walk away from me. I'm not that great with a drill, so I just wanted to make sure to be really, really careful. So first we started with the corners and measured everything and make sure that the cover was going to be tight and straight. And now we are working our way down the sides. So um, now I'm just going to show you how one of these um, screw studs drills in. And um, it's pretty easy, and they're looking pretty good. They don't look bad on this truck at all, and they're not supposed to rust or anything like that. Um, he's real happy with it, and I say this is actually Nick's truck. He works for Big Duck, and he was nice enough to let us use his truck for this project. So thank you. And um, I'm just going to finish snapping the cover on, and it looks really, really good. Um, it's nice and tight and everything that uh, we hoped that it would look like. So if you're interested, this is our 18 ounce vinyl. It makes a really great truck bed cover. So let us know if you have any questions. And thanks for checking out our video.